Welcome, my name is Fred Speck. I'm the director of bands at the University of Louisville. I have with me musicians from the University of Louisville Wind Symphony, and we're going to be performing for you and doing a little workshop for you with respect to the idea of chamber music making within the large ensemble. One of the examples that we're going to use is a brand new piece by Frank T. Kelly called Korean Folk Songs from Jeju Island. And the first example that we'll play for you is from the second movement, The Forest Nymph and the Woodcutter. example to sort of set up the uh, idea of this movement in everyone's ears. I'd like to have us go to measure six of the piece and to get more to this topic of, of not only chamber music in the scoring which you heard there but also chamber music mentality as players whether there are 50 players performing at once or just a few and and that is going to be demonstrated by Ian our bassist and David playing alto saxophone. The bass player really conducts the piece. <laughs> Lovely, beautifully done. And uh, what, what you might have noticed in watching if you were seeing the full ensemble is that Ian was not only playing with oral sensitivity like a chamber musician, he was looking with his vision and peripheral vision as well, just as we would if we were playing a duet and could, could play face to face with one another, using that, triggering that in ourselves as ensemble musicians that even when we're spread out, even, even when we might be seeing the backside of somebody who's playing the trumpet, to notice the body language, to be aware in many, in many ways. And in fact, when I'm conducting, after giving that initial indicator about time and maybe the style and volume, it works best if the musicians all are really playing as chamber musicians together, even in the accompaniment, noting that the conducting comes from the bass player in this, in this instance, and we all fit in together, not by line of sight so much as by line of ear. Let's take this once again at the beginning. Of course, at the beginning, you hear that the clarinet and the vibes are conducting the group and Carrie has the solo that is then traded to Scott before uh, we get to six. Thank you. And even then, as the texture materializes and gets more thickened, if the ensemble performers are sensitized to that sort of playing in the chamber group setting, as is scored here at the beginning, then that has a tremendous impact on the carryover. It, it causes, in a, in a really fruitful way, the player to have the responsibility to one another for the time and for the balance. And the uh, conductor then is allowed to give information or suggest information that has to do with other aspects of style and expression as these players allowed me to do in that rendition. We have another example for you from a piece called Elegy for Albinoni. 
This particular piece, based on music by Albanoni, is scored by Shelley Hansen. It is a grade four piece in its, in its listing, as is Frank Tichelli's piece. This is measure 52, and though this is not the entirety of the, of the scoring, we'll hear a small quintet playing this time together. a little bit of the individuality of some of the lines and then put it all back together once again. The flute please carry right at 52. Other attributes that we might study with respect to creating line and the notion of finding a syncopation that may be hidden but using that as an important uh, stylistic factor. You can go ahead and do that in this line if you see it. 52, go. Beautifully done. And it's important in rehearsing these to give at least a little bit of time for other players to hear these passages as solo parts as well. Then the next time through, it's, it's even more likely that the communication that goes on, the conversational nature of this kind of writing is heard more easily. And the players enjoy it as well when they're really tuned into one another. Let's all begin once again at 52. from chamber music into uh, beautiful tutti. That whole concept of the chamber musicianship within the ensemble, regardless of whether it's scored lightly or whether it's scored for 50 players, is so important. And it not only shifts the uh, responsibility to each individual player, but, but it actually enlivens the environment when players buy into their role as everyone in the ensemble being a critical, critical person in the interpretation of the piece. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the session. We've enjoyed presenting it to you. Thanks. <laughs>